this video is a follow-up to my previous fixes so some of you are still complaining that you still can't launch FIFA 23 uh, then I found a number of uh, alternative ways by which you could do that so if you already haven't uh, tried the steps in my previous videos I'd advise that you do that before going ahead to um, try this new one so for this new one the first thing you want to do is to uh, identify the location of the uh, FIFA 23 installation where you have the game installed so if you're in the EA app you just uh, click on the FIFA 23 game and then you come and click on manage and then you go to uh, view properties and then you can click on browse so then that opens the install location for the game but then if you are on Steam the process is a bit different you what you want to do is to open your Steam app and then you go to library and then you select the fifa 23 game and right click select manage and then click on browse local file so you should end up on a similar page like this showing all these files from here you want to go to your installer you open ea anti-cheat you right click on this run as administrator and then you click on yes and you click on this uh, empty box here select fifa 2023 20, and then you click on update so right now it's downloading updates and it's telling us the update check is successful so we have everything updated now so you want to go back to your main installation folder go back again and then you look at this file that's ea anti .game services launcher.dll. right click click on properties and then you click on digital signatures and then you click on this that's the electronic ads ink and then you click on details and then you want to view details and then you want to install certificate some of this you people have this problem that's preventing your game from working so you just click on current user next automatic next next finish okay so the import is successful okay so you close all this and then you repeat the same process for the e anti-cheat game services the app itself so you go to data signatures click on this click on details click on view details install certificate next 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 finish successful okay so the next thing to do from here is to come to your fifa 23 app right click on it click on properties and then you click on um, no not details you click on compatibility yeah so make sure that all your boxes are unchecked over here some of you have uh, run as administrator checked and then running compatibility mode check you uncheck all of your boxes over here you click on apply and then you click on ok if you don't have any of this boxes checked you just click on ok and you should be fine so let's double click the game from here and then let's see if it launches so in case you are still not able to uh, fix the problem with all these demonstrated steps you could still let me know in the comment section but then uh, i'd want you to first tell me which platform you are launching the game from and then what pops up when you click when you double click on the game to launch and then i'll know how to help you from there if you are still watching to this stage thank you so much for watching and then please consider uh, subscribing liking the video and then sharing either on facebook reddit or whatever social media platform you are on that you have colleagues on who also play fifa 23 and then have similar problems yeah so let's still wait and then see what happens i don't know whether it's running in the background so let's just check the task manager by sticking longer than usual so let me just type f that's fifa 23 i don't see anything running from here so let me just run from the ea app seems it's taking forever to launch I don't know whether it's because I did the reinstallation of the certificates. At this point, I started getting anxious, thinking I might have crashed my game in an effort trying to help you guys. Yeah, but then what you'd realize is that the game ended up launching. 
so after a while i was thinking probably there could be another app running in the background that was uh, conflicting with the game so what i decided to do was to close my screen recorder which is the bandicam application so i would uh, quickly close the bandicam app and then immediately as i closed it, the anti-cheat um, program just started like immediately less than a second it just started so you would realize that there's a short break between the recording and then you see the anti cheat pop up okay so there we go fifa 23 is finally open it's finally opening it took so long i don't know whether it's because i have all this uh applications open in the background i have premiere pro capture one and another software is open in the background i don't know whether that was what was delaying it or the installation of the certificates and the updates of the anti-cheat but the most important thing is that we have fifa 23 opened and then it's working thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more